What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another episode brought to you by the League FFB. Today, we're going to be talking about three running backs that I like this week for fantasy football and three running backs that I don't like. So without wasting any more time, let's hop right into the three guys that I like this week. Now, the first player that I like and I think you should be starting in your fantasy football leagues is going to be Raheem Mostert. He plays against the Carolina Panthers, and I think Raheem Mostert is going to be a top 10 play for your fantasy football teams here this week. The Carolina Panthers are the second easiest matchup for running backs so far this year, giving up 28.5 fantasy points per game to that running back position. And the biggest thing to know is no Devon Achan in this matchup. Also, no Jeff Wilson in this matchup. He hasn't been activated from IR yet. And so with all of those things factored in, I think Raheem Raheem Mostert is a smash play at the running back position. Like I said, I think he's top 10. And when we look at his projections over on Underdog Fantasy this week, we have 14 and a half receiving yards, 92 and a half rushing and receiving yards, 73 and a half rushing yards, and 14.95 fantasy points. I like the higher on that 92 and a half rushing and receiving yards. That is a play that I would be taking over on Underdog Fantasy this week. Now, the second player whose matchup I really like this week and I think you need to be starting is going to be Kyron Williams. The Los Angeles Rams, they get to play against the Arizona Cardinals this week. And I think Kyron is going to be a top 12 play for your fantasy football teams. He already has three top 10 finishes so far this year, coming off of a bad week last week where he finishes the RB 32 against the Eagles. But this week he gets to play the Arizona Cardinals and they are bleeding points to the running back position. They are the fourth easiest matchup against running backs so far this year, giving up about 25.8 points per game. And when we look at his projections over on underdog fantasy, there is a lot that we can look at, but really the things that I'm going to be looking at is that rushing and receiving yardage. They currently have his projection at 89 and a half. I like this projection for him. It shows that they think that he's going to get a lot of work. But the projection that I like the most this week for Kyron Williams is going to be that higher on the half rushing slash receiving touchdown. And if I were making a pick, that would be the pick that I would take this week. Now, the third player whose matchup that I like this week is going to be Alexander Madison for the Minnesota Vikings. They get to play at the Chicago Bears this week. And I think Alexander Madison is actually going to be a top 15 play for your fantasy football rosters this week. You know, the biggest news coming out of Minnesota Minnesota for the last week has been that Justin Jefferson has been put on IR. He will not play in this matchup. But what that makes me think is they're going to have to lean a little bit more on the run game. Their best receiving option is out. I know they still have TJ Hawkinson. I know that we expect Jordan Addison to take a step forward. We might even see that coming from KJ Osborne as well. But Alexander Madison is going to have to be a key piece of this offense. The Chicago Bears are giving up a lot of points to the fantasy football running back position as well. Currently the third easiest matchup according to Fantasy Pros and they're giving up 27.2 points per game to that running back position. And again, when we look at the projections over on Underdog Fantasy, there is a lot to look at, but what I like the most over here is the higher on that 12 and a half rushing attempts. Like I said, there's a chance that the Minnesota Vikings have to lean on this run game. There's a chance that they can win this game as well. And if they do, they're gonna wanna kill the clock a little bit more by running the football. I like that for Alexander Madison this week. And again, I think he's a top 15 play for your fantasy teams this week. But now that we've talked about the three guys whose matchup I like, and I'm starting in my fantasy football leagues, let's talk about three guys that I dislike this week who I will be looking to avoid on my fantasy football rosters. The first player that I'll be avoiding is going to be Derrick Henry versus the Baltimore Ravens. And I currently have Derrick Henry outside of my top 20 running backs in my fantasy rankings for week six. Unfortunately, so far this year, we're just not seeing the same type of Derrick Henry that we've seen in years past. That Tennessee Titans offense is a lot worse than we've seen in years past as well. And they've added rookie running back Tajay Spears this year, and he's getting a little bit more involved each and every week. As I mentioned, Derrick Henry gets to play the Baltimore Ravens this week and they are a top 10 toughest matchup against the running back position. They're only giving up about 15 fantasy points per game to that running back position as a whole. Assuming that that gets split up between both Tajay and Derrick Henry, I don't know if there's many fantasy football points to go around for both of them in a matchup like this. Now obviously Derrick Henry can always fall into the end zone. That can save a fantasy football day by itself. But when we look at the projections over on Underdog Fantasy, they have him projected at about 80 and a half rushing and receiving yards. That's not really a projection that I'm willing to make a play on but when I look at all of these that's kind of the same for all of them the only one that I really like to make a play on this week is the lower on that 12.05 fantasy points that would be the one that I took if I took a Derrick Henry play this week but I'm not going to be taking any Derrick Henry plays this week on my picks now the second player that I don't like this week for fantasy football is going to be Brian Robinson Jr. for the Washington Commanders and he plays on the road at the Atlanta Falcons in this one I currently have him outside of my top 20 running backs on the week and when you look 
look at what he's done so far this year, he already has three out of his five finishes in the top 15. The other two are outside of the top 30. So it seems pretty hit or miss for Brian Robinson a lot of the time. He does seem to be pretty touchdown dependent. I don't know if he's going to get a touchdown in this game. When we look at the Atlanta Falcons, they are the third toughest matchup for running backs, only giving up 11 points per game to opposing running backs. And this projects to be a fairly low scoring, slow paced game. I don't really expect a lot of points out of Brian Robinson. And when we look at his projections over on Underdog Fantasy, you can see there's plenty of things that we can play in this one. The one that I like the most though is going to be that 72 and a half rushing and receiving yards. I will be playing the lower on this pick. Now the third and final play that I dislike this week is going to be Jerome Ford for the Cleveland Browns and they get to play the San Francisco 49ers in this one. I currently have Jerome Ford sitting outside of my top 25 running backs and the biggest news about this one is we are going to be without Deshaun Watson again for the Cleveland Browns and we saw how that went last time when Deshaun Watson was not in the lineup for Jerome Ford. He finished as running back 24. The offense didn't score really at all. The Cleveland Browns finished with three points in that game. Everything we're hearing up to this point is that PJ Walker will be the starting quarterback in this one and I just do not trust a PJ Walker led Browns offense against a San Francisco 49ers defense. And when we look at his projections over on Underdog Fantasy, there's a few things that we can pick from but the one that I like the most is the lower on that 53 and a half rushing and receiving yards. I just can't see Jerome Ford really getting a lot going against that defense. So that is all I have for you guys today. If you did enjoy the video, go ahead and hit that like button. And if you guys would like to play these picks along with me each and every week, go ahead and use code LEAGUEFFB over on Underdog Fantasy or use the link that is going to be in the description. They will give you a 100% deposit match and a free mystery pick them so you can play along with us each and every week. But make sure you sign up using code LEAGUEFFB to do that. And if you were following along and you want to tell what we have done over here today, we have the Brian Robinson lower 72 and a half rushing and receiving yards, Alexander Madison higher than 12 and a half rushing attempts, Kyron Williams higher than a half rushing and receiving touchdown, Raheem Mostert higher than 91 and a half rushing and receiving yards, and Jerome Ford lower than 53 and a half rushing and receiving yards. Five out of five correct on a play like this will get you 20 times your entry. So if you threw $10 on this, you would get paid out $200 at the end of the week. So again, use code League FFB at sign up and get that 100% deposit match and go ahead and bet that bonus money that they give you on a ticket like this. Last but not least, guys, if you are new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. That means the world to us. We're trying to get to a thousand here before the end of the season. So we hope that you guys can come along and watch videos like this each and every week and hopefully win your fantasy football championships. And if you want to talk fantasy football every day, go ahead and join our fantasy football discord. It is going to be linked in the description. It is free to join. So go join that as well. I don't have anything else for you guys today. I will see you on our next video. Peace out.